Life takes many unexpected turns. For some, life can change in the blink of an eye. Isaac Roberts, a senior here at Rampart, knows this better than anyone. It's, it's really important to realize like how much this can affect your life and how frequently it does affect people's lives. Like, it's just, you, you never think that one day you'd wake up and find out that your brother is dying. Gabe was my son. I had three boys and Gabe was the middle and he um, graduated from Rampart High School. I knew Gabe because I had him as a student my first year teaching. He was in my junior class. I first met Gabe when he uh, signed up for my Algebra One class. I've actually known Gabe and his family for quite a while. I've had two of his brothers and I had Gabe. I guess it was just so tough to swallow that I didn't really react at first. I was kind of in denial for a little while, like this can't be happening. It's just, this doesn't happen to people like me. I don't know. Like. It was too harsh of a reality to face at first. Honestly, I was stunned. I was absolutely stunned because we, we do so much with Bald for Bucks to help other families and to have it resonate so close to home was really, really difficult. When I found out he had cancer, I was mostly shocked. I mean, he was 19 years old. He had always been healthy. He was involved in sports, and so he was always active and energetic. And then to find out that he had cancer and was going to have to undergo all the treatments and therapies, it was really hard to hear. I was kind of... Uh, shocked and obviously uh, sad for him, but um, he was always fairly positive. Um, even at the towards later on, when the treat treatments weren't going so well for him, he always uh, put a face on um, that he was uh, fighting and attacking cancer like he did any other problems in his life. It was kind of a mixed emotion. Obviously, nobody wants to get a cancer diagnosis, and he had just graduated high school in May. This was his time to go off and be an adult, and so to get an illness was devastating. In 2019, nearly 26,800 families were affected by cancer in Colorado. Gabe was a healthy kid. He got the Chick-fil-A certificates from High Plains and Mountain Ridge Middle School for attendance. He. Um, had a type of mono in high school and still showed up for school. He was an athlete. We don't have a cancer history in our family. So this completely knocked us out of the water. I guess it just makes you appreciate things. And actually, um, I think Gabe would appreciate uh, what we do here at Rampart. Rampart has an amazing community that allows us the opportunity to come together and support each other. I think Bald for Bucks is the best thing that happens here at Rampart High School. I think that it's something that everybody who is part of the Rampart community, even if they're alumni, they still come back and they want to be part of Rampart Bald for Bucks. It is truly humbling to be a part of this community. Bald for Bucks brings us together in a way um, that no other thing does. It uh, not just brings Rampart together, it brings the entire community, our elementary schools, our middle schools that join us. Um, it, it gives students a sense of purpose. It gives them a chance to make a difference. And I've learned to never underestimate the heart of a student that's willing to make a difference in the lives of some of others that they've never met. I mean, I, I can't speak for everyone, but uh, I think most of the staff, it's the day we're uh, proudest. Yeah, Bald for Bucks does so much. And if you can contribute in any way, then that's just so important to me and everyone else who's gone through stuff like that or will go through stuff like this. So. Experiences like Gabe's and his family remind us that we need to come together to support great causes like Ball for Bucks, and more importantly, each other. Gabe taught me a lot. Uh, Gabe taught me about courage and grace. Gabe always had an easy smile. He always had a grin, and uh, it was just a positive kid all around. I'm just really grateful to Rampart and the community. Gabe was proud to have gone here. He's still a great part of my life, and uh, he'll always be there. Gabe Craig was an amazing person and student. His legacy and story will live on forever. His battle should become our motivation to help end cancer now. This February, sign up for Bald for Bucks or donate to help kids and families going through cancer like Gabe's. Together, Rampart can make the difference. This has been Caitlin Zeiger, signing off. Nora is a seven-year-old girl battling leukemia. This is the story of her and her family. They told us about Nora's continuing battle with leukemia and how it has affected their family. Back, it was actually May 20th that night, she woke up um, crying and just kind of a weird cry that was a little different than anything I'd heard. And uh, I had no idea what was going on. We, um, the pain would move 
and nothing I could do would ease the pain. Went to church and we said, if, you know, if she's not better by lunch, we'll take her back in and just see what's going on. So sure enough, she wasn't better. We took her in. And um, the doctor said, you know, why don't you call Gina into the hospital? Have, have your husband bring her in. Does she live very far? At that point, I kind of had an inkling. If the doctor says, come in, you know, bring your husband in, I figured something was up. I said, no, we live pretty close. So Jared brought Gina into the hospital. And once Gina got in there and hugged Nora and calmed her down a little bit. And at that time he said, hey, you know, we figured out what's going on, which is the good news. The bad news is I'm pretty certain Nora has leukemia. And uh, so definitely kind of just punches you in the gut as a parent at that point, just to hear that your kid has cancer. Um, the hope though, I guess, in it was he said, it, which was kind of an interesting comment at the time, is he said, um, we're just really happy it's not something more serious. The good news is that the form of leukemia that he thought it was, was curable. It was amazing that even in that moment of hearing that your child has cancer, uh, to have a, a physician that, you know, who puts hope out there in front of you, like, hey, we're gonna fight this together. So it was pretty neat. It hasn't been easy for them, though luckily friends have helped along the way. I help her take medicine. Mm, I go to the hospital with her. Oh, the people that have come from all over to help us out has been amazing. Supporting us on the good days and cheering us on on those good days. And then on the bad days, just bringing us meals and cleaning our house for us and mowing our yard. So many friends have done those kind of practical everyday things. And then our family has um, sent bows for Nora when she was bald. The short answer, I guess, would be it's an endless amount of people who have, who have really supported us. Nora and her family talked about what keeps them going and what gives them a positive outlook. Um, I, I, I would say our faith, absolutely. Um, we have a hope that there's, you know, a greater plan in all of this. Definitely a hope that someday she's going to be better. And then also just seeing other families go through trials of their own with cancer is, it really pushes us to think outside of ourselves and to encourage others. The family left us with a few final words. Um, I would just say thank you to, again, all the people who have helped us. Um, and the other people I didn't mention that I would definitely want to thank would be uh, the, the care team that has really come around Nora. It's been amazing. Just continually knowing that others are praying for us and, um, you know, coming along beside us has really, really been awesome. I think a lot of times when you're fighting any type of adversity, and this is just what our family is fighting, every family has something that they're fighting. Um, uh, when you really come together to fight together, uh, that gives you hope. That can inspire you to, to do something as a group and as a family. Shave your head, do it. Rampart, make sure and contribute or sign up for Bald for Bucks to support Nora and everyone like her. This has been Griffin Ray for KRAM reporting. So I'm really happy that you're doing it and it's really supporting me. Cancer can happen to any family at any time, but Andre and his family are battling back. Andre was diagnosed with leukemia back in April of 2019. This cancer attacks red blood cells that allows oxygen to travel throughout the body. started getting very cold and away from school. I would always sleep after school and just get cold and wasn't able to perform as well as I would like during sports. I guess it goes all the way back to Probably about April, I guess, we started to notice Andre and my whole family, they play a lot of sports or so coaching and, you know, just firsthand, you know, coaching and being there involved with them since they were real little and he started to get real pale. Kind of noticed he was, uh, just didn't have the energy that maybe he used to have. Kind of crazy. We, um, like Joe said, we, Andre was looking really pale, so we thought it was like iron deficiency because his aunt had anemia when she was younger. So we were giving him iron supplements. It was just kind of, it all happened really quick. When Andre first got it, it was kind of scary. And I just, I didn't really like know what to do. So I was just kind of scared. Kind of heartbreaking, it's kind of hard because you just never expect it to 
I just never expected it to happen, you know what I mean? It kind of just took you by surprise, it took me by surprise. After the diagnosis, his family knew the treatment would be necessary. Unfortunately, going for treatments can take up most of the day. Sometimes they're long days at the hospital, four, five hours, same stuff a lot of the time. To get treatments, Andre was hooked up to an IV. To pass the time, they have all found some activities they enjoy. I like to watch movies while we're at the hospital waiting. I'll read sometimes, or we like to play games. Watch movies and play games. I like to read. I know I'm usually just kind of on my phone. Andre's treatments are not always close to home. He and his family actually live in Alamosa, Colorado, but travel for their appointments. The majority of our treatments actually have been up in Aurora. We did probably two straight months there. And then we were here at uh, this new children's hospital here in Colorado Springs. And we did probably two months there as well. And then we did seven weeks in Philadelphia. So it's kind of been spread out. We've kind of had the best doctors and the best treatment. So we're very, very fortunate. The weekends we go travel a lot more. At the beginning of the summer, I was able to travel with them in Aurora. And I actually got to go to Philadelphia during Thanksgiving break. Since we were together, like we were all able to, Joe, our son Ian and Joe and Andre and Angel were all in Aurora the whole month we were there, so that made it easier since we were all there together. Unfortunately, Andre's older brother Ian could not be at the interview, but still shows his support and strength for his family. With the strength of each other and the support of other family and friends, their time battling Andre's leukemia has been a lot easier. My family and everybody, my friends at school and my teachers. We probably couldn't have done it without all the support we've had. It's been very trying time. Baltimore Bucks has came. You guys have visited us a lot. Greg really has been keeping in contact and checking on us. Um, our teachers, our community members, a lot of Andre's teachers have done a lot of fundraisers. They've just really been helpful. I think family's been a big support. Just my whole family, very fortunate. All of us have done a good job of keeping each other up and not letting, like, letting us get sad or anything. A special thanks to the Ronald McDonald House for housing Andre and his family, along with the other families staying in other houses across the country. Leukemia has struck thousands of lives, and families like this one are putting everything they have into fighting it. This is why Rampart comes together every year and shaves or cuts their hair to support the fight. Ball for Bucks can help end childhood cancer. So sign up and donate today. Thank you, everyone. Come support Ball for Bucks. This has been Caitlin Zeiger reporting for KRAM. March 6, 2020 marked Rampart High School's annual Bald for Bucks assembly, bringing people of all different backgrounds together for a greater cause. Bald for Bucks is our annual assembly to support the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. We've been doing it for I think 11 years now, and we get schools from all over the community and parents, and we shave a few hundred heads and raise a few thousand dollars every year. I started at Bald for Bucks honestly by accident. A good friend of mine and a Rampart teacher, uh, Miss Penny Sanford, was battling breast cancer that had re returned for the fourth time, had spread to the liver and throughout her body. I made an offhand comment that we just should just shave our heads as a sign of support. And within a day, the entire community was behind me campaign. I think it's something that every single person, no matter who you are, what age you are, what your background is, everybody has some special connection to it and when they leave Rampart that's what they take with them. People from all over the community in all different ages decide to shave their head, donate hair, or give time in the fight against cancer. Um, I started doing it because I went to high school here and this was always my favorite day of the year and it means a lot to me and I just wanted to give back. My biggest call to do it initially was um, I did. I felt like I wanted to do something out, like more outside of myself. And you know, I've had a lot of family who has gone through um, cancer treatments, lost their hair. It was a show of support to those who suffer from cancer, but then through it, I kind of discovered it was more of a drive to show young women that bald is beautiful. Uh, well, well, during the summer in August, well, in August, my dad was diagnosed with throat cancer. And I got really broken down because of it, so I decided, okay, I, it'll, I'm going to shave my hair because people like my dad who are going to go through that. I believe that all of us at some point are going to have a family member, friend, somebody that we know is going to have cancer, and I think that by putting ourselves in a position to give back, we only win. Cancer affects families and communities universally, and it's important to come together as a community to do something about it. Well, it's important just to kind of show your support because there's so many people 
uh, around the world and in our own community who have been affected by cancer. So just show your support and know that there's people who care about them. I think it's a great cause. People should not just feel weird for just being the one person who has like a bald head or really short hair. It's something for us to all rally around. It defines really the best parts of what it means to be a Ram at Rampart. Um, and it's just, it's something that's so easy to give. It's just hair. It's a few dollars here and there, but it amounts to so much more. Because a lot of people are affected by it and it's usually younger kids and it's not fair for them to go through something like that so young. I think it's important because many people who have cancer believe that they're not going to fit in because um, they don't, because they don't have hair. If they don't think they're not going to fit in, they're not, um, um, I'm going to be with them so they don't, they're not alone. I mean, you look at the mass outreach, you look at the community support, how many people we bring into this gym every single year, how much money we push out of this gym every year. Um, this is bigger than us, it's bigger than ourselves, it's bigger than just these hallways and these students. Um, we reach people that, you know, we would never think we would come across. Um, you know, our hero families or people across the globe that put Rampart um, in their sentences because they're talking about how much money we raise and how successful we are. Um, we do things that are just unheard of. I love everything that we do. The, the um, impact that we have is it's just unbelievable. This year's assembly marks almost half a million dollars given by the Rampart community to cancer research. Thank you for being a part of what makes Rampart, Rampart. This is Hadassah Nix signing off.